Just set the record straight with the all star shit. You see what I'm saying? It ain't uh on that shit, man. You know, everybody got the everybody got the wrong misconception. Like it's about a bitch and all that, man. It ain't about no bitch, man. A nigga, man, it's just some old monk ass shit. Like like I said, it was it was based on a necklace that got took. Do you think about the niggas getting took? I mean, yeah, I jumped back on the star shit, but to speak back on that, I was gonna leave the shit alone. I had left it alone. And I was telling my niggas I ain't even finna keep doing that shit Cause the police came and questioned me about some shit about the shit And I'm like shit I'ma leave it alone I ain't got nothing to do with it or nothing But I'm hearing songs and shit I'm hearing songs and shit with the nigga You feel me? Talk. I'm hearing new songs talking about business, bad for business and all that So I, can't, I gotta keep addressing the shit so pretty Yeah man And what niggas don't understand man I really live this shit yeah, you know I mean, ain't no, I'm not no studio gangster. I ain't pretending to be something I'm not, none of that. I'm really off in the streets with this shit. You can ask any real nigga I chill on the east side, they know about Tico. You see what I'm saying? And I'm out chill, man, for real, man. Niggas already know what it is with the east side outlaws, man. Real talk. He's charged with murder should be sitting in jail waiting to go on trial. Well, then, unfortunately, that is not the case. Some suspected murderers are out walking the streets among us. We found one man who has been waiting three years for his day in court. All the while, police say he has been committing even more crimes. They say just yesterday he added another victim to his list. Channel 4 Sarah Dorsey has that story you won't see anywhere else. Gunshots outside of street sounds on Gallatin Pike yesterday sent one man to the hospital and police on the hunt for the alleged shooter. Very frustrating. Turns out the suspect, 28-year-old Tico Taylor, is very familiar to investigators. He was indicted back in June of 2006 for the murder of Whiterius Black. Three years later, he's still waiting to go to trial. What it do, you two? What the motherfucking business is? Just want to make a real quick video on the whole deadly beef that stemmed within the rapper Starlito, known to the world, you know, known to within Tennessee, you know, Nashville, his city, man. He was also known as our all-star, Cashville's prince. You know what I'm saying? He was one signed to cash money. He once had a deal with I and E, you know, through Yo Gotti and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He appeared on uh, the Like Father, Like Son album. I forgot what song it was, but he also appeared on the Birdman album. He appeared on a few of Yo Gotti's albums, a few of Yo Gotti's mixtapes. I mean, Yo Gotti has a few things going on or had a few things going on. Him and Young Buck had some things going on. He also had his own things going on with Kevin Gates, you know, uh, as Kevin Gates would uh, refer to Starlito as being his favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, Starlito, man, he, uh, let's touch real quick on the whole Gotti situation and all that before we clear right into the whole video of why I'm even making this video now. Him and Yo Gotti, man, they had good dealings within the early 2000s, you know, the mid 2000s around, around, but way before around the basics, back to the basics. Whenever that shit came out, that's when he was dealing with Yo Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the reason why Yo Gotti and Young Buck never dealt with each other, who knows? But Young Buck always sent cryptic messages through to Yo Gotti through Starlito songs, you know, like, tell Yo Gotti we getting money too type shit, you know, is a, 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 a form of fashion of, you know, come fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Or why you ain't fuck with me, but... Yo Gotti and Starlito, man, has always had good ties, you know what I'm saying? It's a, a lay story out there on why they cut ties, and the story is that in a shootout with uh, other rapper OG Boo Dirty, Starlito had ran off, and when Starlito had ran off and got back with Yo Gotti, he told Yo Gotti that his gun jammed, and he just took off differently, because, you know, there wasn't nothing else for him to do. And Yo Gotti had checked the uh, gun and seen that it was a full clip, and he cocked it back, shot it, and seen that he was working. That's why he put it on a song that... I, I can't fuck with you no more. I think it's I think it's what it's called. But he says, man, you uh you say you gun jam, but I checked it and it worked, you know. So that's the dealings on why they even stop fucking with each other or whatever. But uh, then Starlito started fucking with Don Tripp. You know what I'm saying? And they had their big shit going on. You know, made a big impact with the Step Brothers and all the crazy songs that they was putting out there. But before all that, man, it was a huge beef that Starlito was in. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of huge beefs that Starlito was in. Which is this, his own city, you know, within particular, I ain't gonna say his neighborhood because he's not from that particular neighborhood that he claims. He's was just hustling there, you know what I'm saying? He's from the other side of the East Nashville, you know, close to the Shelby side around that way. But 
he's had real problems. You know, he's had real problems with the gangster disciples through that. You know, I ain't going to say their names, but they really kind of put that pressure on him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Starlito claims he's from the Lishy area. You know, now Lishy is a infamous neighborhood within East Nashville. You know, uh, it's treacherous. It used to be the most treacherous projects in there before, before they tore him down. Now, right across the street, about a minute or two down the street, is a street called North Six, you know, and they... Is the 9 8 Main Street Mafia Crips, and they roam through that motherfucker. That's around where Cook Up Boss is from. You know, when Cook Up Boss and Starlito was cool, you know, they somewhat kind of got the same dealings within the same clique. Like, Cook Up Boss used to rap with Grind Hard, you know what I'm saying? So that's how everybody came to know of Cook Up Boss is through Starlito now. It's a rapper out there by the name of Tico, Tico Outlaw. If y'all not familiar with him, he's a rapper from East Nashville, you know, he's a Main Street Mafia Crip, the 9 8s. You know, and uh, he had problems with Lido. Now, the story is that a lot of people would say that it started from a female, but in the words of Tico, it started from within the chain, you know, and that led to a lot of people getting shot, man. I'm talking about people getting paralyzed, people getting killed, numerous people getting killed to the point of where Tico even put the body of a person on a mixtape, you know, and put Stalito's name on the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It was that deep now. It was a situation that stemmed within a, 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 a car shop in the East Nashville area in Gonson Road where Tico was already out fighting a murder, you know, and uh, he ended up running running into them, you know, and shit went left and somebody got killed and Tico was on the run for that murder and he ended up, now he's on never two murders, you know, and this stemmed in 2009. Now, it's a lot of situations, like, it's, a, it's another story that people were saying, you know, now, I ain't going to allege to it. I ain't going to say I was there, I saw it or not, but it was a story in Murfreesboro, Tennessee at the MTSU campus, man. Now, it was a video shoot that took place, and Starlito got thrown into a trash can by a white boy that was on the football team. Now, white boy was a big-ass white boy. He picked Starlito up and threw him into a trash can. Now, this was all jokes, but... For you to be in that stature and for you to be that type of rapper that you rap about, for you to get thrown into a trash can like that. And he fell down trying to get out the trash can, so the trash can fell and his gun fell out, so he was laughing the whole time. But just you to be in that stature, man, I don't know. It'll just throw a person off that listen to you on what they presumed you to be or what they thought of you to be. And for them to find out that's not who you was, just on little shit like that, but... The Tico Outlaw Starlito beef, man, it was real deadly, man. A lot of people got killed. Well, I ain't gonna say a lot of people, man. A couple of people got killed. You know, a lot of people got shot. People have been paralyzed. You know, it stemmed within uh, Starlito was running with the Hoovers at the time. You know what I'm saying? He was also running with the GDs at the time, but he split from them and he split from the Hoovers somewhat. He started running with the Bloods from Trash Bag Gang for him. But a lot of that shit caused Starlito to have bad problems, you know, like... He has problems with Young Buck right now. You know, he's had problems with paper. Paper is from the West Nashville area. He was also one signed to Starlito, you know, and he runs with the blood. So it put a lot of bad ties within Starlito. You know what I'm saying? It's like OG Boo Dirty wasn't fucking with Starlito when he signed and got it. You know what I'm saying? Because OG Boo Dirty was looking at Starlito to be like one of the hardest motherfuckers to ever come out of Tennessee. So Starlito, man, was involved in a, a very, very, very deadly beef that a lot of people didn't know about. You only know about it if you're from around that way or if you know people from around that way. But shout out to Starlito. Shout out to Tico. Shout out to Yo Gotti. Shout out to OG Boo Dirty. Shout out to the whole Nashville, Memphis, Tennessee. One love.